Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 general reading. Uh, thank you to all who have liked, shared, comment, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. We'll get started with love for Scorpio. And then we'll go into career and finance. And then we'll do additional support messages, okay? Right, and we'll save the announcements for the end. All right, so let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God, for the messages for Scorpio. True, accurate messages that govern and that will govern and guide their lives, ultimately bringing them back to the Creator in prayer and in supplication. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. All right, the chariot and the outcome. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer, or you're just moving forward effortlessly and in victory. Um, you've gotten in control of yourself of a situation that you were in also that was pretty much out of control. What crosses that is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. All right, so it could have been a, ho a home situation or a long-standing situation, long-standing business or or a uh, marriage life. You Maybe you're moving forward with, um, you know, becoming married, um, moving forward to creating the Ten of Pentacles. We'll see what the cards have to say. All right, the basis for all this is the Six of Wands. Nice. Some of you could be getting married. Some of you could be getting married or renewing vows or just really solidifying a bond uh, by way of moving in together. Like I said, getting engaged, getting married. All right, where you are is the Page of Wands. Nice. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. A message comes in, a message of action. You know, this message takes you to to do something to action all right the recent past the queen of wands all right this is sagittarius leo or aries but definitely sagittarius um in the recent past okay uh charismatic outgoing uh upbeat fun sometimes can be a little self-centered uh self-promoting uh arrogant but for the most part, really good people, fun people too. Near future. All right, seven of swords in the near future. Okay, somebody's devising a plan or needs to revise a plan or doing something in secret. De definitely, as you see this guy's kneeling down and hiding behind this rock, do, you know, making a plan of action in secret could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just the energy that you're taking on in the near future. Uh, your power. Page of Swords. Doing your research. Spying for some of you. Uh, looking into. Yeah, you're looking into something. Um, having harsh words. This is not even harsh words with an S. It's like one harsh word. Like, you just cut something out and cut somebody off. External to you, page of pentacles, all of these pages. What I'm hearing either is that this newfound energy zest to move forward either with a commitment or away from a commitment is um, it's exactly what it is. It's new. That's why they're pages. It's almost like you're, you're just beginning to... Get the gumption, the the um, the energy to move forward about something. Maybe because someone else is establishing something elsewhere. Also, with the page of Pentacles, because this is external to you. You've done your research about something. You found out something. You cut something off here with the page of page of Swords and your energy. You have the page of Wands. Uh, presently, you get a message, a message of uh, that calls you to move to action. And I think your action was to devise this plan in the near future. Okay, hopes and fears, six of swords. Either you're hoping to move away from turbulent times, drama, confusion, chaos, arguing, fighting, because before this is the five of swords, uh, or you're actually physically hoping to to make a move, phys a physical move. Or your fear is to have to move, physically move. 
outcome, the Hierophant. Some of you are getting spiritual guidance, trying to get yourself back aligned with uh, spirituality, whatever that is for you. Getting back into spirit, well, spiritual alignment so that you can make clear, concise, and sound decisions because you feel like you're now making decisions on a whim. You're, um, some of you um, are trying to move away from an established relationship with the chariot at the heart. Um, yeah, some of you are moving away from an established relationship uh, with the chariot. The chariot only carries one. The chariot is about you moving forward effortlessly in a victory. You got the victory card self-promotion promotion card gratification acknowledgement card in the heart of the entire reading kind of divides a plan of action here about how you move forward you're also speaking with trying to get back into spiritual alignment some of you are speaking with people or persons or an entity in the court justice system uh, big corporations what's the hierophant what's the hierophant what's the hierophant for Scorpio the knight of wands you moving fast with this uh, yeah some of you deal, definitely dealing with a fire sign Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or someone who takes on that energy uh You're moving quickly and passionately like the fire has been lit under your behind with the page of wands with this message to to get I'm here and get in front of a situation the tower because you know the tower is coming you know an unexpected bad event is coming you know that drama confusion the breakdown the demise of is coming or has come already What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? Or someone's doing this to you. Um, it could be an air sign. What's the Seven of Swords? The Star. Aquarius. Uh, some of you who are dealing with Aquarius. I have a lot of Scorpio and Aquarius couples. Um, it looks like maybe Aquarius. And I'm just speaking to those who are dealing with Aquarius directly. Aquarius is devising a plan of action, maybe behind your back. They could even be spying. They could even be gaining knowledge, doing research. Or this is, but this is in your power. You might be, you guys both may be trying to get ahead of something. I don't know. Um, or if not, dealing with an Aquarius, Seven of Swords, and the Star. You may be healing from somebody that did something behind your back that was sneaky, that was a cheat, that was lying. You may just, you know, be trying to find balance in that situation. Restoration of that situation. All right. I'm going to clarify. What? What is the Six of Wands? Justice. Yeah. Some of you want victory via the court system via things not being right in the past you want the universe to come in and right them for you they were wrong in the past you want things to be be made you want to be made whole you felt like a decision was unfair and unjust in the past and, and you want justice for it it looks like you'll be speaking with you know attorneys or court system judicial system big corporations Something like that. You're moving fast in it because you know the tower's coming. These two flipped over for you. The Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Uh, some of you are working hard to create something. Or some of you are working hard to... You want to put the work in with the mother figure... Or someone who you look at is very beautiful, alluring. 
or they or vice versa. Capricorn Virgo Taurus Empress to me is is Virgo Libra Taurus. Could be any sign. Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. Yeah, you you planted seed here. You want you were waiting for it to harvest. You don't understand why it didn't turn out or manifest in your favor. Some of you just want to move along by yourself, but this Ten of Pentacles is crossing you, the home life. Kids may be involved. So a lot of children here. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so that's love for you, uh, Scorpio. Look like you're trying to get in front of something. Something in love. It could be legal. Um, it could be... Uh, yeah, it looks legal, like you're trying to get in front of a certain situation. All right, let's do career and finance. Thank you for the messages for Scorpio for career and finance. True, accurate messages for Scorpio. Career and finance. Career and finance for Scorpio. Messages to guide their career and finance. Career and finance for Scorpio. Career and finance. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. For guidance, for true, accurate messages. I'm not getting any hate. Oh, there we go. Queen of Rods. Some of you are entrepreneurs or want to be. Some of you are very charismatic. Some of you have fire in your chart. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, some of you... Um, yeah, you're thinking about entrepreneurship or going out on your own. Some of you are very intuitive also. Very intuitive. Um, you read situations well. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. What did I say? You're weighing up entrepreneurship to you know being very spiritual about it what should you do it's already here for you with the two of pentacles two of pentacles is is manifestation so it's here it's, it's when i say it's here for you you've already kind of moved that way a bit but you don't know and you're trying to weigh up the situation should i do it or should i just go go backwards or stay where i'm at or go here but it's not the two of swords where it's just a thought like, oh, I think I bake cookies really well. So maybe I'll go into the catering of desserts business. You know, it's not a thought. It's something you've already dabbled with. It's something you're already doing. Um, yeah. I'm weighing up the situation here. Oh, I just heard, and this is supposed to be career and finance for love, too. You're weighing up two different people. The Queen of Rods is typically my other woman card. You don't know if to stay, go with the other woman or man or stay where you are. All right. Oh, gosh. You keep falling. Okay. Um, presently, where are we? Where's Scorpio presently? I'll take them. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Wow. So, your part, your, whew. some of you are already, you know, contemplating partnership. You got Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. This is already manifested for you. It's already here. It's already tangible. You're already doing whatever it is. Um, you're already working on it. You're already getting recognition for it. You're already, you know that you're good at it, whatever it may be. Now, it seems like you're holding on. You're trying to hold on to that status, though. You're trying to hold on to where you are with this thing. But things uh, in life go up and they go down. The next card will be the Five of Pentacles. That will be feeling some sort of loss or, or lack or not good enough or um, just that insecurity. So, it looks like 
you're already doing what you're doing and getting recognition for you either you're partnering with someone but one is still wanting to still hold on to a certain situation now I'm hearing in love you you got you're in a third party situation and you want to hold on to that you want to hold on to both what's the basis for all of this energy the basis for all of this energy for Scorpio the ten of swords yeah um an ending that has happened or will happen betrayal being backed into a corner backstab just the highest level of disappointment a super super slap in the face with the ten of swords could be with an air sign gemini libra aquarius we've got fire here and earth all right recent past and career and finance for Scorpio. Recent past, recent past. I'm going to take the one that fell face down. Uh oh. And it's in reverse. I don't really do reverse. It was King of Swords, recent past. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this is Aquarius or Libra. Some of you um, could be Gemini, but this is typically Aquarius or Libra. Um. They're in reverse. They, ooh, they, they lie. They are devising plans. They are, honey, you think that this king is 10 steps ahead of you in the upright. In the reverse, they might be 20 steps ahead of you. And it's not for the good. Um, they've got their own agenda here. Truth you will not get from them. I'm hearing that they, they feel like you don't deserve it. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Typically Aquarius or Libra. Moving forward, near future, Eight of Cups. You're walking away from a situation that seemed stable, seemed like it was working. Eight of Cups could be physically moving also. Um, this is your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you, Everybody else looks at the situation from the outside as, oh, they seem happy or, oh, you know, he seemed or she seemed happy. Um, but Eight of Cups says, no, you know, you know what what's going on in the situation. You'll be walking away from um, a job situation or a career that no longer serves you. All right, your power. What's the power? Scorpio's power. All right. Your power is the hermit. It's not in reverse. It was actually upright. I apologize for that. So you're going within, trying to figure this thing out, being self-reflective, taking some time out for self, trying to think of, you know, how to operate, how to move in this situation. External to you is the Five of Cups and the Emperor. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, external to you. Somebody is really grieving, you know, the loss of external to you. Could be a boss. Could be somebody over you. Could be a very dominating lover. They, they, only, they only think about what has happened, but they aren't thinking about what can happen. If they turn around and think differently. Hopes and fears. Ace of Cups. You're hoping for new love. Res <coughs> resurgence of love. New start in friendship. This could be in business. Um, you want that new start that's blessed by the heavens. Some of you are praying for it. Or a new start in career that fulfills you on an emotional level. The outcome. What's the outcome for Scorpio? Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Nice. The outcome could, for some of you, be find, finding balance and equality in an already established situation. Family life situation. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles here. 
Yeah, so something's already established, you know. Um, I'm trying to weigh it up. What do I do? Some of you are walking away. Some of you, but it's like you're of two minds. You want to walk away, but then you want new. You want a resurgence of love or a new love. You want things to be equal in the home life. You invested so much. You don't understand why it's not working out for you. I think we had that in the last spread. I think. I, I'm not sure. Um, if this is financial, it looks like you need to get over an upset, over a disappointment, move forward, choose self, um, come out of the love affair, um, stop trying to hold on to an old paradigm because it's, it's coming down or it's, or it's already come down. If someone's being very dishonest with you, cold, disloyal, it's a new side of them is what I heard. You never saw this side. You may have brought it out. I don't know. Shoot, I ain't in y'all relationship. Um, wow. Okay, let's get some additional messages for Scorpio. All right, additional messages for Scorpio. Additional support messages. Alright. What should Scorpio be concerned with? April 2018. Religion and spirituality. I saw that. With the uh, Hierophant. Yeah, some of you are trying to just get back balanced. In religion. Heavenly signs. Dietary change. Bottom of the deck. Parental care. This could be... Your actual parent, your your grandparent, you need to care. There needs to be some care here. Or it could be vice versa. Um, your parent. And you need to be a little bit more concerned about your children. A little bit, take a little bit more care and time with them. So, you know, however that pans out for you. Religion and spirituality, it's very much in focus for you. You very inquisitive you want to know you need to know you need to get balanced there you need to find truth there um you're going with seeing it being self-reflective you're getting heavenly signs all i can do is say pray for knowledge you know whomever you pray to pray for knowledge when i was on my quest for the truth whatever the truth may be for you or for me that's what i did i used to pray to um our creator you know i believe in there's an an ultimate creator, the creator, the great magician in the sky, is to pray to to him, to her. He is all things. She is all things. Um, for knowledge, because you just don't know which way to go, and you just you you want to know that you're on the right path, the path of love and light. If it's taking you down some spooky, dark roads, I don't know. Maybe you like to be spooky and dark. I don't. I just like to. Um, have knowledge of and it, you'll see if you're praying for knowledge and wisdom it'll come to you and seek it seek and pray all right because you can you can get knowledge of some real dark stuff what you gonna do with that you're gonna go to the dark you can go to the light well i don't know whatever anyhow dietary change some of you could be concerned about that or need to be concerned about that um on your religion and spiritual uh, quest um you know, this always comes up. You know, you are what you eat. You know, I know that when I eat really heavy, I, I don't, I try not to, well, I was vegetarian for a while, and then I got a boyfriend. Anyway. <laughs> Who was not vegetarian, so great. Um, I find when I eat really heavy, I don't get as many, like, downloads. I don't get the dreams that I get, you know, whatever. So, you are what you eat. Some of you need to, Think about dietary change, veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism, uh, I only drink waterism, I don't know. Uh, you know. It's something new every five seconds. Do what's best for you. Always consult a physician. I am not one. Um, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, Love and light to you all. 
uh, especially those out there seeking truth and knowledge. It's, it's it's fun. It really is. The quest is fun. It really is. I'll say that from from experience, because you 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 shift and you change your focus and what you believe every time you get a piece of information. So then you get to a place where you're just like, I'm happy here. If I learn nothing else, I'm okay. No, no, I, I only joke, only kid. I always be seeking knowledge for the rest of your life. Okay, so kiddos, you know how to reach me. Everything is below. Thank you for tuning in. It's great talking to you guys all the time. Um, follow me on Instagram. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. It's much appreciated. Get us some new cards. We need more cards. Come on. Any, any donation goes back into the channel. Um, I wish, I only wish and hope that uh, doing tarot card readings will finance my entire life, but it doesn't. <laughs> so those who think that it does, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. And when in doubt, pray, guys. All right, I'll talk to you in mid-April. Take care.